Can't see me, baby. <clears throat> YouTube, what's going on? Um, shit, let me pause my game real quick. Motherfucker's trying to cheat. But, uh, what's going on, YouTube? Earlier this morning, when I got home, I started recording my collection video that I keep saying that I'm going to get to y'all. I got the collection recorded, but I ran out of space uh, to keep recording. And also, uh, after I recorded it, I noticed that the video was like damn near an hour long. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to break it down into probably three parts and just get them to you like that. So right now you're about to see part one of my collection. You're not going to see too much that's interesting. I mean, you might, depending on if you're a hype beast or not, but these are these are my shoes. You know, I bought them because I like them. So, you know, right now I'm just chilling with some Street Fighter and go ahead and check out part one of my collection. It might just be a two part, might be a three part, but we'll see how that goes. But for right now, go ahead, check out part one. P. YouTube, what's good with you? Right now, I'm standing in my closet. Um, I've been telling y'all for the last few videos that I was gonna get that, uh, that collection video to y'all. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get it out the way while I got a little bit of time to do it. Um, I got a lot of shoes to go through and I wanted to do it a lot better, but I'm gonna just go ahead and just get it done the best way I can. I ain't got no camera camera person to do this for me, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it the best way I can by myself. So uh, y'all just gotta bear with me. And as you can see, I had to push all my clothes to one side so that I could get to the boxes that's on the floor. Um, but yeah, y'all can see, let's see, right there, you see my collection, or some of it. I'm pretty sure some of y'all probably wondering how I get these pictures up here. Walgreens app. Walgreens app, just submit the photo to Walgreens, 29 cent a copy. Bam, that easy. You get them in an hour. I mean, just pick them up in an hour, I mean, that's, I pretty much just take them to the box, so. So yeah, that's what's up there. I'm gonna start off with these little shits I got here on the floor. Um, let me see. These right here. What you got? These motherfuckers beat. I don't even know why I still got them uh, for a while. I mean, they were a nice shoe. It's like a, it's like a soft leather, not necessarily a new buck, but it's like a soft leather. And um, they were real nice. They were real bright and orange. They definitely caught your eye when I walked past. So that's what I liked about the shoe. Now it's, it's just real beat. After a while, it was used for a uh, gym shoe. When I used to work out, I mean, I used to wear it to the gym. So that's why it's beat like it is now. I'm not sure why I still got them. I'm, I'm somewhat of a person that just holds on to shit. But yeah, that's pretty much... Yeah, them motherfuckers beat to death. But they they were a nice bright orange. So go ahead and throw those over there. <coughs> These right here was pretty much some everydays I had. Just your standard Reebok classics. Like low top soldiers almost. So that's that. You see these right here are actually my my current work shoes um some jordan flight 45s i know y'all a lot of y'all like oh you got some flights you got some flights these were these were gifts to me like i didn't even ask for these these were gifted to me they were given to me and so i, I cherish gifts you know you give me a gift i'm gonna always keep it and I'm gonna use it. I mean, they they pretty beat up because, like I said, they're my current work shoes. But even when I can't wear them no more, I'm still not gonna get rid of them. I mean, it was a gift, so it is what it is. Down here, got some all patent leather Fila F13s. They they these was real nice. You could use them as like um, almost a dressy type shoe, 
the entire shoe is patent leather with the gum bottom. Like it, it, it was really a nice looking shoe. Uh, the problem with that was after so long, the patent leather started to crease real bad. And so now it's pretty much useless. I don't know. Like I said, I, I don't know why I still got a lot of these shoes. <coughs> then right here, you got your Lunar Force One duck boot, the gum bottom. These are like literally my everydays right now. These are my go-tos. I mean, if I'm running to the store or something, that's that's basically what I throw on my sh on my foot. I keep them sitting by my door. Like they real comfortable. I love this boot. So it's it's been heavily worn this year and it's still gonna get wore a lot even more so these I can't even tell you what the fuck these are couldn't even tell you what they were me and some guys were uh getting ready to hit the gym I didn't necessarily have on any good workout shoes so I ran to a, de a close by department store and I grabbed these and yeah that's all they were ever, ever were they were never nothing serious <clears throat> these right here is basically some standard uh Reeboks basic Reeboks I actually got these for a dollar I caught a promo at um if you live in like northern states we have a department store called Meyer, and every November they have a sale where you buy a pair of shoes and get another pair for a dollar I usually use that sale to get a new pair of work boots and for a dollar you know I just kind of either I grab another pair of work boots or this particular time I found these you know I was kind of feeling them so I grabbed them I mean it was it's a nice casual shoe plain to the point I mean it's pretty wearable with almost anything so it was it was one of those just everyday throw on shoes so that's that <coughs> Now we've got those out the way. Let's go ahead and get into some of these boxes. Some shits. Those two boxes are empty. Let's put this up here. All right. Here you got your Griffey Air Max One blue and green I want to say this is a royal blue I think it was called the royal but it's your Air Max Griffey one I, I, I love the Air Max Griffey shoes I want the crimson red ones but can't seem to find those anywhere Another Air Max Griffey one. This one is uh, black and gem red. The the box says black and gem red, but it's still got that that freshwater green in it. Uh, I like this shoe. I caught. of the fresh waters another Air Max Griffey one in the fresh water colorway this is a clean shoe uh, very dependable in the winter if you don't got one you should get them I actually got all three of those on sale not too long ago some shoes I wait until they go on sale before I get them I mean ain't no sense in spending full price when you know they're gonna go on sale um, Everybody knows what that is. Grape 5 or the black Grape 5 Jordan. I actually got these for a steal. Um, 120. When I got them, they were pretty beat up, pretty uh, dirty. The new buck was all just all jacked up, but I ended up buying some rejuvenator, rejuvenator cleaning kit, and rejuvenator took, took good care of me. Shout outs to the rejuvenator. 
If y'all happen to watch this video, hit me up. We can discuss something. But anyway, we're gonna keep it moving. And you got your Jordan 8 Chromes. I actually bought these uh, from a girl on Facebook. Her, her boyfriend broke up and she was selling all his stuff. He had a pair of Jordan 8s. She let me get these for $70. I mean, can't beat that. It wasn't nothing wrong with them at all. I mean, they in pretty good condition. So I'm glad I hopped on that. Put that back in there. Push these back over here. Kobe Mentality 2. Uh, I want to say these are called the. What the fuck are these called? I can't get the name right now. I'll get it later. Kobe Mentality 2 joints. Go ahead. Adidas. These were also a gift. Um, I'm definitely keep these. I'm waiting to till we get some warmer weather. I got a matching Adidas jogging suit that'll go perfect with these. I'm gonna definitely break these out. Break some head. a lot of people should have seen this shoe this is a very clean Reebok I actually caught a finish line they were having a, a I want to say it was a 40 or 50 percent off sale and I cleaned up with Reebok classics I love the Reebok classic shoe they I mean they it's just a real good nice looking shoe when you just want to throw something on you don't want to get too complicated with it here you got the black leather ice, the icy bottom. I love that bottom of that shoe. Like that, that's that's what sold me on the shoe. Like I just love that bottom. So you got the black leather ice joints. <clears throat> I believe these were called the autumn classics I want to say don't quote me on that but I believe that's what they were called you got somewhat of a burnt orange with the gum bottom it's kind of a different shade of orange on the on the sole but still a nice clean shoe I'm definitely looking forward to putting this to use By the way, all of these uh, Reeboks are DS. These are very clean. I love this shoe, especially the inside. I don't know if you can see the inside, but let's see. Come on now. Let's get in there. Yeah. I mean, when you got the shoe on your foot, the inside really don't mean nothing, but I still like the artsy touch. You got the Reebok. Flip that thing around. There you go. You got the Reebok Shack Attack One in the Orlando Ma Orlando Magic colorway. Definitely a clean shoe. Material is pretty much ass, but it's definitely a clean shoe. I did an unboxing. I actually did two unboxing videos for this. The first unboxing video got chopped up. When I was editing it, I, I guess I chopped it up too much and the video just didn't turn out good. The audio was all off sync with the video feed and it was it was just trash. So I scrapped that and then I made another unboxing video with another pair of shoes doing this shoe. But just recently that video got removed off my YouTube. So I'm guessing it just was not meant for y'all to see that unboxing. So. But here it is, the Reebok Shack Attack 1 in the Orlando Magic colorway. Put this in there. Mm -hmm.
got a Fila F13 in the wheat. This is a uh, all new buck. Not really new buck, but it's a really soft leather, and this is a, still a clean shoe. I still pull this out every now and then, as you can see, it's almost no creases, no flaws, nothing. I gotta keep this shoe clean. I love this shoe. <clears throat> Here you got the Fila 96. This is Grant Heel shoe in the wheat colorway. This is uh, suede on here. It's not a premium suede, but it's, it's, it's a suede on the shoe. And um, it's, it's an okay shoe with the gum bottom. Still DS. I haven't found a reason to wear it yet, but I like the shoe. We got another Grant Hill here. Now this one, Grand Hill 96, all red, gem red. This shoe, I love this shoe. A lot of people be sleep on the Grand Hill 96s. I don't know why. They only want to come out when the o, the OG color way come out. But every all the other colorways are sick too, yo. This is actually some pretty terrible, a terrible attempt at some suede. But all in all, it's a dope shoe. Anybody who knows me knows that I fuck with Ewing. And these are the Ewing Center, I want to say. The Ewing Center in the New York Knicks colorway. Definitely a, a high quality, high top shoe. I love high top shoes. It, it gives that that OG 90s old school feel. I love high top shoes. So yeah. Oh, I dropped the shoe. Damn. Got another Ewing. The 33 high. And a all black and white with the suede. No, it's more of a new buck. More of a new buck feel. And uh, the gum bottom. Of course, you got your 33 strap on the back with the Ewing. I think this is probably my favorite Ewing in my collection. Even though I only have a, two, a few, it is my favorite Ewing in my collection. Another Ewing. It's another uh, 33 high. This is the purple. I can't remember the exact name of it, but you got your 33 strap on the back. This pair is DS. Haven't found a, uh, an outfit to go with it yet. I want to get an all purple Kooji sweater. Go with this. I'm still on the search for that, but if I find another alternative to go with it, I'll go ahead and do that. So, all right, and right here we have a pair of Creative Rex. I don't, I don't see too many people fucking with Creative Rex anymore, but I still fuck with them. This is the black. But right here, you got all white patent leather, the patent leather strap across the toe. Then right here on the tongue, you got some new buck. Yeah, this is a very clean shoe. I actually wore this to the club one night, and it was real. It was real nice. It was real nice. I still fuck with it. This is the Creative Rex Cesario. Damn. Actually, all my Creative Rex are Cesario. This one, actually, I don't know the exact name of this one. It is. The Navy Chocolate Putty. Creative Rex Cesario. See that Navy, how that Navy. It's more like a, like a, I want to say like a satin feel. And then you got your, your leather chocolate around there. I, uh, I wore this once. I actually almost got into a fight in these. So they was almost a goner. Luckily the fight didn't happen. Luckily for the other guy. <clears throat> and right here
here you got a navy blue and a, uh, uh, I want to say this is an olive creative work. I bought this. I bought this pair when I went to vacation to Minnesota. I went on vacation to Minnesota and while we was down there we visited the Mall of America and I got these at Designer Shoe Warehouse. That's why I got it. DSW. Got those there. Very clean shoe. I've worn that plenty of time. It's got a lot of wear out of it. Um, another creative wreck. You got the black and the eggplant with the patent leather strap across the toe. And patent leather on the tongue. I've, I've worn this shoe a lot as well. I got that shoe the same day I got the other the olive pair when I went on vacation at the same bought them at the same time so another creative wreck Cesario of course you got the uh, Malibu blue with the chocolate brown I, I love this shoe because it was so so difficult to find a matching outfit to go with it but I ended up getting it this was actually I was actually searching for this shoe a lot and someone ended up buying it as a gift for me so that was it was a Christmas gift actually so I'm glad that they did that for me still got it it's still it's gotten plenty of wear still going with the creative Rex you got your gray and royal blue um, I've, I've actually worn this shoe the most it actually became an everyday shoe for me it's pretty dirty I don't know if you can see it on camera I'm actually hoping you can't see it on camera it was actually pretty filthy and of course we got one more creative wreck but this one is not Cesario I really don't know the name of this one but I, I ended up, I bought this one. I was on Amazon and it popped up in my suggestions and it was, it was like $13. So I was like, fuck it. I mean, you can't be a $13 shoe, especially a shoe that you, you know, a shoe company that you fuck with. So I've worn that a few times. I mean, why not? Okay. So you just saw part one of my collection. Pretty much just a bunch of feeler, Reebok and creative rex we're gonna just wrap this video up i'm not even gonna hold you up go ahead subscribe to the channel like this video comment below let me know what you thought your favorite shoe of this part of my collection was and tell me what your least favorite shoe was i'm pretty sure a lot of people wasn't banging with the shacks a lot of i'm sure a lot of people wasn't banging with the creative rex and that's okay that's that's your style my this is my style and you know, I like those type of shoes. I love Reeboks. It's a very comfortable shoe, a very wearable shoe, a nice everyday, just throw it on so I can run to the store type of shoe. But enough of that. Like this video, comment below, subscribe to the channel. Go check out my other videos. If if you haven't seen them, go check them out. I mean, if you have seen them, go watch them again. Shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Go, go watch them again. But like I said, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you subscribe so you stay you stay updated on everything that I do, all my videos that I upload. So go ahead, subscribe to the channel if you need to. Hit the bell. Hit the subscribe button, man. The subscribe button right there. Right the, Nope. To, yep, right there. Hit it. There, yeah, there you go. All right. So subscribe to this channel. Like the video. And I'll beat y'all back here. Meet y'all back here for part two. Stay tuned. Peace.